welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. It's just a short video to share with you something that we recently acquired in the collection, which is one of these, a uh, spare barrel and cleaning rod case. You can just see on the markings here, so it's spare barrel and cleaning rod, uh, 303 MG Mark II. Uh, remarkably, this has actually got two number one characters as opposed to two eyes, um, but I think that's partly to do with the dating of it because this example looks quite late. Um, it also is quite unissued. There's some damage which we see on most of these because they get their ends bashed um, from, from the stitching there. So we might have to just quickly repair that. But I thought I'd share that in front of the pack saddlery kit. So hopefully you've seen our video on Vickers pack saddlery before because that's really what this exists as part of. But it's also the only um, the only way of carrying a spare barrel. So it survived a lot longer than the pack saddlery itself. Uh, it not only uh, carries the spare barrel, but it carries the cleaning rod as well, the cleaning rod. Um, obviously that's just a standard cleaning rod, but it can carry the spare barrel like this. Uh, it's got two straps here that connect to the pack saddlery equipment. Um, and this one normally stays on display. Yeah, so this one has seen a much, much more life than, than that one there. Um, this one isn't, or has had some markings up in here, uh, now largely worn away. This one does have a strap though, and the date on it is 1960, which goes to show that perhaps either it stayed in service for a very long time, um, or you know, we, we, I don't know what the orders were, whether there was a, a batch ordered in 1960 or whether this is a replacement strap. The rivets and everything look the same, so maybe it's just a really late example. But I thought I'd just share with you, so, how it works is, let's you know, say this strap here, it has two sets of holes. So it either has the set that goes through the handle and holds the handle in, and then you know, that holds everything in place, or you don't need to hold the handle in, it goes on the second set there, and you wouldn't carry the spare barrel in that case, the spare, uh, sorry, the cleaning rod in that case, but the spare barrel inside on its own, um, and then that would go down uh, onto that second set of holes. There's a little stop on the back here to stop the, the, cat, the, the catch coming off, and there's this little loop here for attaching to um, other parts of the equipment, but it'll only fit a, a, a small strap through there. And then inside, you carry a spare barrel, um, and this cleaning rod fits down the middle of the spare barrel once it's inside. So that goes in there like so, fits in, and then head, you know, the, the cap over the top, and through that hole goes the spare barrel down through the cleaning rod from the breech end um, so that it doesn't core any, uh, any, any wear to the, to, the, uh, to the end of the barrel, to the muzzle. Uh, and then goes through, connects closely, and all secures like that. And then these straps are used to secure it to either the pack saddlery or just looped round and it's thrown into the back of the truck or the carrier or whatever. Um, so quite an interesting bit of kit. You do see them about, you know, they, they, they aren't, I suppose they're not rare, but they're probably considered scarce. They're quite desirable. Uh, they're quite a nice bit of equipment. Um, you know, we've now got two that will fit into the limbered wagon and uh, you know, go to demonstrate part of what a, a pair of guns would carry um, because that would be the minimum, minimum unit uh, for, for use with the Vickers. So yeah, a, a whole sort of subsection or section at the start of the, uh, of the Great War, uh, but certainly a whole, a whole subsection um, uh, by the end of the Great War would be that two guns. So yeah, quite, quite pleased to have acquired it um, and such a nice example. So this is the uh, handbook from 1914. And you can see here it's already the Mark II. So it's highly likely this was actually used with the Maxim before the Vickers. Uh, and yeah, one of the lists includes it as you know, case, spare barrel cl and cleaning rod, Maxim and Vickers. So uh, yeah, it was, it was unchanged then all the way through to at least 1949. And this is the entry in the Vocabulary of Army Ordnance Stores, section C1, which is the machine gun section. For that, showing it was costing 14 shillings to have them made at that point. So quite possible that this late example was made post, uh, post its 1949 period. Um, let's say, just great to see that it's still there, it's still you know, unchanged. It's one of those very few accessories that was unchanged for the whole life of the Vickers machine gun. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.